Hi guys, this is Lachette, and it's a new bi-weekly vlog. Um, it's Monday, it's a holiday here in the U.S. that I don't participate in. Um, though I could if I put in my mind Indigenous People's Day. I was racking my brain trying to figure out what holiday that so I'll, I'll, I've already like she said it's like Memorial Day, Labor Day, no Veterans Day, no. So yeah, anyway, new bi-weekly vlog. Uh so we're going from the 12th to the 25th. Uh the 24th is my brother's birthday, so um, I have a project I'm working on. I have a will have a whole separate vlog for that process um, that will come out in November, early November, hopefully. Um, so my vlog might be shorter, I guess. I again am not participating in any readathons, though I'm thinking about Paranormal Romance uh, readathon, which will be. From the 30th to whatever end of that week is. Um, but I don't want to be constrained to a time period. So I might be whatever I feel like it. I... I'm currently reading... <clears throat> um, more Sherlock Holmes. Which I've been reading for like several years now. But I remembered I still had... To I'm going through the complete works. Um, today I read the the Rygate puzzle or the Raygate puzzle. I don't know how it's uh, pronounced. R E I G A T E puzzle. Um, very short. Uh, so yeah, I hope to read some more of the stories. And I'm reading. The Illum oh, I'm reading Illuminate Book 1 and the Illuminate Files. That is interesting. So yeah, that's currently reading. Plans for this week. Work on this work on this project. Uh I've got to do to edit and upload the September reading wrap-up video. And I've got to schedule social media for the next two weeks or so. Um, more tax stuff. Uh, it's getting towards the end of the year. And I just... I'm trying to get ahead of certain things. Because I know November and December... December and January are going to be insane. Um, I still haven't done my quarter three review, quarter four plan video... And my plant ally project, I want to work on some more. Those are my big things this week. I am unaware. Oh, I have a doctor's appointment on Friday, but it's supposed to be telemedicine, so nothing big. And oh, my friend. Did I hear from her? She's supposed to come over today. Um, so yeah, that is it. Let's get this vlog started.
so this is random. Um, <laughs> it's Wednesday. I thought I would share something because I am a green witch. One of those things is looking for like natural remedies. Um, and for me, beyond that, uh, it's been using said natural remedies that I found over the years. Uh, testing things out, as you say. I am not officially an herbalist or anything like that. I am just going with the flow and that's what I've always done though I am working towards becoming an herbalist and more. Um, as you know, for my Etsy shop, natural skin care is a focus and that is because I'm allergic to a lot of the stuff that you can get in a store and so years ago I just started trying different things particularly related to essential oils because a lot of my allergies are scent related um, as well as skin related so TMI time a couple of days ago let no like a week ago I got these two huge pimples and they're not as big as they were um they're huge red and very painful um this whole side of my face was super sensitive and I went back through uh remedies I found online to get rid of them quickly and I found one that said uh tea tree oil Melaleuca is good for getting rid of pimples quickly. So I definitely have lots of this because I also use it for allergy stuff and cleaning. And they are now this small. They do not hurt. They're not like red and pulsing and full of pus. But now they are dark spots. And I still have this from early this year so another herbal skincare remedy that I heard about is using aloe vera oil to reduce dark spots and guess who has a shit ton of aloe plants because I've had an aloe plant for over 10 years now and it ha they, they keep on growing so, if you've been following for a while, you know I repotted these guys, and I need to repot some again already. But yeah, so I'm gonna break off a little bit and get directly from the source, as I have in the past for completely other things. Um, and try that out it says 30 minutes in the morning and 30 minutes at night so we'll see i'll give an update later
back from the supermarket and I thought I would update, or not update, but talk about plans for this week while putting my groceries away. I uh, got no headphones so now I can stop using my fathers. Um, one of the things is exercising more, which for me means in particular eating pre and post workout meals. Um, I do it in the morning, so breakfast type stuff. Which is good. Um, we're working on it. We are on it. Oh. Uh, we got a bunch of fruits and vegetables. So smoothies and some good meals. PB and J uh, tuna, which I have already. We got strawberry jam because I like that over grape. Um, the spinach and kale for smoothies and salads. Uh, and peanut as well. So that's good. Uh, I need to continue working on the plan with this murder mystery. Cut that out, Lachette. Huh. I need to work on the plan for this event for Halloween. It's digital, online only. Um, I just went to my doctor to get my x-ray, but I need different medication. I also need to pay for some things. My Etsy and... Google Ads, I'm determined to have that happen this week, and hopefully finish up taxes. Oh, I want to mail in my ballot for my vote, um, the, the election, and oh, continue updating Scarlet Moon Creation. Those are the big things for this week. The last week I didn't really do much, but I did go on a lot of walks. Um, last week, actually on Friday, I found out from my doctor that I'm low on vitamin D and omega-3 and iron. So, but even before that, like last week I was very physically conscious about my health. For whatever reasons, I was like, going outside, going on walks, just being outdoors, doing lots of stretching and some exercise. Not a lot, because I knew I didn't have um, as much food that I needed pre and post workout. So, then I got my results. My antibody test is done. It's negative. So I didn't have COVID at any point, which is good, but the cost is better, but not gone. That's it.